This is the best speed test app for Android with features you have never seen before. Not only can you measure how fast your data speeds are, but every cellular test you run contributes to one of the fastest growing crowdsourced maps of cellular coverage. We even made it so you can map areas with no coverage and tell the carriers, hey, this area doesn't have service. Plus, we built in custom options for running recurring tests as you drive, bike, walk, or run. And the coverage search tool lets you instantly see how the cellular networks stack up in your area. This is the all new coverage map app for Android. We have spent the past 10 months completely rebuilding this app from the ground up to make it the best experience possible for Android users. I couldn't be more excited to share, it is finally here. Here are five features you're gonna love about the new app. Feature number one is the built-in speed test. This has been by far our most requested feature, and I am so excited to share it is finally here. You can now run speed tests directly within the coverage map application for measuring your cellular speeds, your Wi-Fi speeds, and even a wired connection if you have an adapter. Each speed test will measure your download performance, your upload performance, your latency, and show you exactly how much data was used for running that test. When a test finishes, all of the UI elements move to the center of the screen, which is perfect for taking a screenshot and sharing on social media. And we have some amazing settings for the speed test I think you're gonna love. First, you can tag all of your tests, either indoor, outdoor, driving, or other, depending on where you're running your test, and you can choose your own server. We have a lot of servers to choose from here, and all servers support 10 gigabits per second or faster speeds to ensure fast and accurate results for all of your speed tests. Plus, there are extra settings right here. You can manage your data use settings, where you get an overview of your current usage. You can set a cellular data limit, so if you only wanna run tests until, say, 20 gigabytes of data are used, you can do that. And you can have your data usage reset each day of the month to match your cell phone plan's billing cycle. So maybe your plan renews every month on the 12th, you can set that right here. You can also customize your default server, your default tag. You can have a pop-up ask you to confirm a tag before each test. This is really helpful and it just looks like this. You hit start test, you get this beautiful pop-up here where you can select a tag and then the test goes ahead and starts. And you have some settings at the bottom for configuring your theme. We have three beautiful themes to choose from, default, glow, and stealth. You can see what those look like right here. And at the very bottom here, you can select your units, either kilobits per second or megabits per second, and kilometers or miles. That is the brand new speed test feature built into the coverage map application. But it gets even better with feature number two, the run multiple tests feature. This has tons of options I think you're gonna love. First, you can customize the time between tests. This is the time between when one test finishes and the next test begins. So maybe you want a 10 second pause between tests, you can set that right here. Next, you can choose what method you want. You can run multiple tests either by number or new with this new app update by time duration. So maybe you have a 30 minute commute to work. You can set 30 minutes right here and run recurring tests as you drive to work and this will finish as you pull into the parking lot. We also have some brand new helpful presets for setting these settings with the tap of a button. So you've got driving, walking, hiking, testing a single location, and we also have 30 minutes and 60 minutes. And again, all you do is tap which option you want, all of the settings are pre-configured, and you're good to go. You can then select what tag you want for all of your recurring tests. You see a single sentence summary of what will run at the bottom, and you're ready to tap start running multiple tests. And the app will now run continuous tests based on the set parameters. You can see a little status indicator in the bottom right, and you'll see the results as they run in real time. When the multiple tests finish running, you can see this beautiful summary screen of your results. You can see the average download and upload performance at the top, along with the average latency and the total data used for all tests. Then below that, you have a scrollable list of all your results. The multiple test feature is perfect for running tests while driving and filling in gaps in the crowdsourced coverage map. But before we talk more about the maps, we have to talk about feature number three, which is a feature I don't think any other speed test app has. 
and that is the ability to map no coverage zones. If you're out in an area such as this and you have no service, you can now open the Coverage Map app, tap Start Test, and you'll get a pop-up that reads, it appears you're offline. Would you like to register this test as a no coverage zone? Tap yes, and you have now marked that location as an area with no service. This is perfect for building out more accurate coverage maps in national parks, camping areas, or more remote trails such as this that simply do not have coverage. Or you can use this feature to call out the carriers for their inaccurate maps. So if a carrier says they have service in one location and you go there and you find out you don't, you can use this app to prove it. And by far the best part of the no coverage mapping is that it works with the multiple tests feature. So you can start running multiple tests in an area such as this that has no service. And then when your phone reconnects to service, it will automatically upload all of those data points and show them on the map as areas with no coverage. It's awesome. This brings us to feature number four, the built-in crowdsourced map of cellular coverage. This is all community contributed data. People just like you running speed tests on their phone and helping to paint a picture of what true cellular coverage looks like across the United States. You can zoom in and tap on any square to see what cellular performance looks like at that location. You can expand to see a summary at the top and scroll down to compare the worst, average, and best performance for latency, upload speed, and download speeds between all of the carriers. This is super helpful and really powerful. Plus, we put helpful filters in the palm of your hand. You can filter by carrier, either AT&T, DISH, T-Mobile, US Cellular, or Verizon. You can filter by technology, 5G, LTE, or all. And you can filter by median, average, or best for latency, upload speed, and download speeds. This is super cool. So right now, this is the map of best download speeds on the Verizon network. And you can also look at best upload speeds on the Verizon network. It is so fun and such a cool feature. Plus, we have powerful color profiles. Right now, this is the default view. You can also use the heat map view, which colors everything in a nice heat map. And my favorite view, the best carrier view. This automatically colors the squares by the carrier with the best performance in each square. Right now, we're looking at the best download performance. You can see T-Mobile looks excellent in New York City, but you can also look at best upload performance and compare what that looks like. And again, T-Mobile looks great in the New York City area. This is so powerful and so helpful for comparing performance between the carriers. Plus, one of my favorite filters is the show my tests only filter. This gives you your own personal coverage map. You can see past driving trips you've been on, look at coverage that you've reported in your area, and remember past trips, such as your trip to Moab, Utah, and you can view performance that you measured in those specific locations. It is so cool to see your own personal map of cellular coverage, and no other app offers this. Next is feature number five. You're running all of these tests, you're contributing to the fastest growing map of crowdsourced cellular coverage, you want a way to easily view and sort your results. And I think we've created that. This is your results view. You can easily see all of your past speed tests and we built in powerful filters. You can filter by type, either all LTE, 5G, Wi-Fi, or wired, and you can sort by date, download speed, or upload speed, and sort by ascending or descending order. And this makes it super easy for you to go ahead and find some of your fastest, most impressive tests that you can then screenshot and share on social media to brag to your friends. And again, all of the UI elements are thoughtfully designed in the center of the screen. So when you take that screenshot and share it, your results will stay visible, even if a social media site crops in on the image. But the real power of sorting and viewing speed tests comes with this desktop view. Here, you can click on any column to sort by ascending or descending for that column. And there is a universal search bar at the top. You can search for text in any column. You can search for a specific location. You can search for a specific download speed, or you could even search for a specific provider. What's the best part? 
we made it so you can continue using any of your preferred speed testing applications and you can go in and actually import your results to the coverage map application. This makes coverage map the perfect app for sorting, storing, and managing all of your speed tests from all of the speed testing applications. And that is the all new coverage map app for Android. It's available today for completely free. Download it now at the link in the video description. And we have a special surprise and thank you for making it this far in the video. To celebrate the launch of our new app, we will be giving away a free Galaxy S25 Ultra. How can you enter to win? Here's how it works. Download the free coverage map application and go ahead and go to the Maps tab. We're big on building crowdsourced maps of cellular coverage, so people like you can make better decisions about what network has the best performance in their area. So for the giveaway, to incentivize people to help fill in the map, we're making it so every square that's 0.3 kilometers in size that you fill in is one entry into the giveaway. So how do you enter? Well, let's say you have Verizon as your carrier, you would filter the map by Verizon, and if you go to a location that hasn't been mapped and you run a speed test on the Verizon network and you fill in that square on the map, that will be one entry into the giveaway. And if you fill in another square, that will be a second entry. So the more squares that you fill in on the map, the more entries you will get and the higher your chances will be that you will win a brand new Galaxy S25 Ultra. We'll have full details about the giveaway in this video description. We couldn't be more excited about the launch of the new coverage map app for Android, and we couldn't be more grateful for a community such as you for using and supporting our app. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.